I'm in my dining room right now. We, we actually have a really nice view. We have these nice glass doors. You can tell the curtain rod has been bent. We almost never open and close these curtains because I've got four young boys. They like to twirl up in the curtains. They like to play. They've bent the rods. It's just really difficult to open and close these curtains. So I'm going to install some smart blinds so that we can automatically have them go up or down during the day. I will show you how to install these. I want to thank Blinds magic for working with me they sent me the blinds to install so let's see what a difference it makes i absolutely love these blinds let me go ahead and close them so you can see better close blinds as you can see they are smart blinds so i can do voice commands or i can use the app on my phone i can control them that way Hang on. okay okay you can also set up schedules for the blinds so i have them open automatically in the morning have them close automatically at night these things are fantastic i want to walk through the whole process of ordering installing setting up and using these blinds the process of ordering online is really nice so you go onto their website they ask for the exact dimensions of what you want and they have guides to help you out to know how you need to measure so then you can choose your blind style and color put in your dimensions and then there's a bunch of of other options that you can get as you go through the order process it updates the price for you so you know exactly what the price is as you are ordering things and adding on the additional options there are two options that i went with that i think are fantastic and are really worth checking out the first option i went with is solar panels now these blinds are rechargeable so you can plug in a usb-c charging cable to charge these up and they last for several months that's not a huge deal but if you never want to deal with that ever you can get solar panels with these now a couple things with the solar panels these are glass doors so I can't put the solar panels on the glass itself so I thought okay I'll just put these on top and maybe the reflecting light from the ceiling would be enough to power these that is not the case I believe it provided enough power that the battery drains really slow but it doesn't charge the battery so then what I ended up doing is I got some nano tape I put that on the back of the solar panels I put it just above the windows and I find if I close the blinds just a little bit the light reflecting off of the blinds is enough to charge the blinds. So that's definitely an option if you're like me and don't have the ability to put it on the window itself. The other add-on I want to talk about is the bridge. Now the blinds, just as they are, they come with a remote and you can program the remote to open each blind individually or you can open them as a group, close them as a group and stop them. And that's really nice using the remote. And if that's all you need to do, then maybe that's the way to go. But I like the bridge because it allows you to do things like like schedule when the blinds open and close, use voice commands. And another really nice thing is it actually tells you the battery level that the blinds are at. So if you're wondering you need to charge it or not, you can just open up the app, see what power it's at, and you're good to go. Let me go ahead and take you back a few months to when I installed these. The first thing I recommend you do is find all the studs if you have larger blinds, then you'll probably want to put the mounting brackets on the studs. If they're smaller, you could get away with not putting them on studs, but I still recommend that you at least know where the studs are. You can space the mounting brackets about four inches from the edge of the blinds. So once you mark where you want the brackets to go and make sure that everything's level, you can drill your pilot holes. And since we're going into the stud, you can do the screw directly into the stud. And don't screw it in all the way so that you can make sure it's level before you tighten it completely. And then once you have it level, you can go all the way in. Once you have the brackets installed, you can snap it into place. So I was fortunate I had my dad available to help me install these. This is a good project for two people. You could probably do it with just one person. But yeah, probably get someone to help. When you get the blinds, it does come with great instructions for how to install everything. And it gives you instructions for using the bridge or using the remote control. So I don't want to go too much into how to set all of that up. I will just say, if you keep the remote control out of the hands of small children, the remote control works well. We just keep it mounted on the wall and if we need to open the blinds or close the blinds we use the remote control probably more than just about anything just because it's so easy right there by the blinds but as i mentioned what i really like about these blinds if you get the bridge then you can sync the bridge with the smart life home app and then when you do that there's a button on the blind you press the button to pair each blind individually and then once it's in the app you can do some pretty basic things like raise or lower or you can open it to a certain point and then have it stop you can also check the battery 
battery level. And if you have a home device, you can do voice commands. And I had to go into the app for my home device to group all of these together to control them all as a group. But another nice thing about the Smart Life Home app is that you can do scenes. So I programmed this at a certain time, all of the blinds open, a certain time, all of the blinds close. It's just fantastic. It just works so nice. Let me talk about some of the issues I had when setting this up. As far as the installation process goes, it was fairly straightforward. I must admit, we did not measure as much as we should have. So they're not perfectly, perfectly aligned. And another thing you'll notice, there are gaps between the blinds. And that's just because I'm not using these for windows. I'm using these for glass doors. We need to open the glass door. So, so that's why I needed three separate ones. So we can open just the middle blind and that allows us to open the glass door or close it. But but because it is three separate blinds, there is that gap. But I like having all three. It means we have more control. So when we're eating dinner, we can open the blinds. We can see outside. I think we have a great view outside. But sometimes if the light is shining in your face, you can close just the one blind part way to block the sun. So nice. Another issue I had while setting this up, I think when I went through the order process, I ordered just enough to do voice commands. And honestly, I never got that to work until I got the bridge. Definitely recommend getting the bridge bridge it just lets you do so much more it is so nice to be able to program these things to open and close automatically another issue as i mentioned previously was with the solar panels i had them plugged in for a long time and before i got the bridge i didn't even know if it was charging the blinds or not and then once i got the bridge i realized that they were in fact not charging and so that's when i moved the solar panels to a different location what i recommend you do if you get the solar panels is place them in an area plug the usb-c cable into a phone if you have one that will let you know if the phone's charging or not. If it is, then you know it's a good spot. If it's not, then you might need to reevaluate. But a nice thing about the blinds is when you plug in the USB-C cable, if it does have power, there'll be a blue LED that blinks a few times so you know that you're having power. So that's another way you can test out the solar panels. It's been a few months since installing these. I've had an overall fantastic experience. Hopefully this video helps you to know what to expect if you get some blinds from Blinds Magic. I had a great experience. I hope you do too. Thanks for watching. Open blinds. That's just so cool. <laughs> I love these blinds. <laughs>